We're bringing you all the tips and tricks to get a head start on your spring cleaning. Is there two sexier words? I don't think so. And speaking of spring cleaning, I got to jump on mine already. That's right, this is me tackling my lovely little old pre-war coat closet. And um, I'm trying to not only control something that I can, uh, but I'm trying to organize so that my mornings when I'm getting my kids ready run smoother. Um, so I wanted to try to organize because I believe that organizing sets you up for a better life, a healthier life, a smoother life and a general happiness that money can't buy. And we want to see how you organize. So if you don't mind, share your pictures or video using the hashtag organize with Drew. And who knows, we may feature that on the show. I had a lot of girlfriends sending me like their Lego organization. It was really fun. I think this is a very inspiring thing that a lot of us can relate to. Again, it's something we can control. And I am so excited because we truly have the icons of organizing right here on the show. They work with people like, um, let's see, Reese Witherspoon, the Kardashians, Gwyneth Paltrow, and they have huge collaborations with people like Target and the Container Store. They have two New York Times best-selling books and a binge-worthy Netflix series. Okay, you guys, literally, it's the home edit. And they rule the school when it comes to the declutter kingdom. Just take a look. We are professional <laughs> organizers and have teams all throughout the country. It's yes. Legally Blonde. Oh my goodness, and look yes. at all these drawers that have all of her accessories. Yes. I know, she, Elle, is living her best life with her organization. I'm excited to see this. What? Yeah. <laughs> You guys, how did you do this in a couple hours? Uh, well, <laughs> did you guys eat? <laughs> Look at you! Oh, wow. Wow! <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is awesome! Oh, she's happy, she's happy, she's happy! <laughs> Please welcome the clean queens of the home edit. Clea Shearer and Joanna Teplin. I was very excited to see what your backdrop was gonna be. And of course, it's like clean, serene, and very organized. Well, I, I hope it didn't disappoint. So <laughs> we, we really worked hard on it. You never do. And I wanna ask how you guys met, where you met, and how you decided to team up. Sure. Okay. Right. So this is my specialty. Yeah. So it's yeah. excellent at telling the story. I'll, I'll take it away. Um, so Joanna and I met in August of 2015. Um, we were introduced by a mutual friend. I really wanted to start a home organizing company. Joanna used to have one in San Francisco and our mutual friend knew this and said, you guys should meet up at least talk. Yes. I was like all gung ho about doing this together. Joanna was like, absolutely not. Never no way. Anyway, we ended up going to lunch. We sat down. It turned into a four-hour lunch, and we just got up as business partners, and yeah. we went into business that same day. We designed our logo. We got our domain, our social handles. We came up with our name. We started our paperwork. It was just... Yeah, all pretty much. Clea is right. From the minute the minute we sat down, we were both just had this like light bulb moment where we just both knew this would work. It was just one of those bizarre, I don't know, not love at first sight because we're, we're not married to each other or any like thing which, like that. Which is a common misconception. Yes. <laughs> we, we do have other husbands, but we are kind of married also. Right. But it's just, it was sort of that intuitive, like, yes, this is my person to do this with. And I immediately felt it. And I guess Clea felt it too. And we just, what she's trying to say is that I was right. It, that's what she was trying to say. It's the only time she's ever been right though. So, you know, there's that. I can't tell you how excited I was to hear this story. First of all, I was like, what is the origin story of the home edit? Again, it's like it's never not been here. But I feel like you are one unit with two great individuals. And I was curious of the origin story, within the origin story, of the Roy G. Biv strategy, the rainbow mm -hmm. effect. Where did that come from? Well, I mean, I just want to say I was rainbow bright uh, for Halloween for like six years in a row when I was a kid. So it's really always been deep in my soul. Um, but the rainbow really represents what the home edit is about. It's marrying form and function. The rainbow is essentially 
a, a system of labeling, just, a, it's just a visual label. So, you know, if you line up clothes in rainbow order, the blue goes in the blue section, the red goes in the red section, or like the books behind me. Um, and, you know, it's lining things up in a system, but it's also really aesthetically pleasing and visually beautiful, which is basically our entire goal. Setting up a system, making it look beautiful. I love that you bring function to it. And I'd love to ask you, what is one of the biggest mistakes as we speak throughout the hour that people make when it comes to organizing? All right, well, we have a few, <laughs> I mean, many. I mean, how much time do we really have? The, the first thing hour. is, I think people, people don't start. So I think they look at their house and they think that they're gonna, they need to tackle the whole house in, in an afternoon and then they get paralyzed and they just don't start. So that's, that's the first mistake they make is by not starting. The second mistake I would say is that they start too big. Yes. You cannot start with a closet or a huge kitchen or a large pantry or something that's an overwhelming. Yeah, an enormous project. You need to start with something that's very small that you can see the entire process through A to Z, get very comfortable with the, with the process and then extrapolate those steps out to bigger projects as you get more comfortable. Absolutely, totally agree. Now, it's spring cleaning season, and you guys just released this amazing book that I've been carrying around with me in my backpack. Um, <laughs> it's, I'm not kidding, it's the Home Edit Workbook, and there's just an amazing way to fill things out, incredible guides, make lists, it's room to room, it's so brilliant. What gave you the idea to do it in this unique format? So we wanted to create a workbook spiral bound, you can write in it, scribble in it, sketch in it, draw in it, that really allowed people activities and prompts and thought starters and, you know, all sorts of things to get people to just dig in. Right. So the workbook is really designed to be our kind of hand holding and a, a gentle nudge, uh, again, room by room. The other thing the workbook yes. has <laughs> is the gold stars. We have a whole page, I'm sure Drew, you saw this, but we have a whole page in the front of stickers, of gold stickers, because as an adult, no one is giving you gold stars anymore. Right. And why is that? Right. We were like, no, we deserve a gold star. Yes, who doesn't need a gold star? There's no age too old for a gold star. Right. No, absolutely not.